Yeah. And I love it. <laughs> That's funny. And it just goes to show you never know. You, you know, when you're out in the public, you, you, you I was yeah. approached by a very hostile, beautiful young woman. Studio. That approached me like she was gonna fight, and it really threw me off. Oh, I remember that. And yeah. I had my hands full of stuff, and I was really? thinking, I "Wow, any that. second now, I'm gonna have to throw all my stuff on the ground and fight." And, but the whole time, I'm looking at her like, "I can't hurt her. She's like this really beautiful girl, but she was like evil." <laughs> Why did she want to fight you? Do and you it know? made me. She, she was probably on drugs. I wow. confronted her. She was going through the dumpsters in the middle of the night on our property, and I oh. confronted her, and she started coming at me very aggressively. But mm -hmm. in my mind, I was kind of thinking, is this really happening? Right. Like, yeah. I'm yeah. expecting to be attacked by a big, scary man, yeah. not a really beautiful young girl. And they're, they're the so, worst sometimes. It just they're like just badgers. Shows. They hang on, and they don't want to go. Yeah. yeah. We can't just... Put it all on men. Women attack other we women. We can try. To, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. But to no, be honest, but you're right. No, you're absolutely women, right. Women are also yeah. can be a danger. Can be crazy. At, or uh, big, small, young, old, good looking, mm -hmm. not good looking. And I when mean, it comes to drugs, you just never cross know. the board. You just never yeah. know. You've, you've got to keep an awareness at all times and be ready to do something if you have to. And that, and that there's a difference between kind of martial arts and street smarts. Mm -hmm. Is it in martial arts, you know, you learn your upward blocks, your inward blocks, you learn your um, moves, your kata. Mm -hmm. In boxing, you learn your combinations. Oh, I'm going to jab, right switch, body kick, boom, ba ba ba. You learn these things. In street, how long is the street fight? 30 seconds? Yeah. Maybe, maybe not even that long. And, and you have to be able to, to think on your feet, what's the best way, where's my, where's my angle, what can, how can I get in here? Yeah. Um, it goes to not what you've learned combination-wise, exactly. it goes to how do I manipulate this person's body, points of articulation, how do I, how do I get him out, out of here, how do I use my elbows, rake him, how do I, you know, how can I close the gap, open the gap, there's a lot of other things that you don't go into the thinking of combinations. You yeah. go into like, how to, and if you hit the ground, you gotta be trained to keep your chin tucked, get your feet kicked up. Yeah, um, that's a big one too, because you think about it too, you know, like not breaking your arms and not breaking your fall. And when I learned falls with you guys, that was so critical for me because, you know, you learn how to land without hurting yourself, first of all. Um, but, you know, you're still in control, so you're maintaining that control. Yeah. The other thing, too, is I find because uh, society now where, you know, the women are into the boxing and doing stuff like that and nothing gets it, I love it, I do it myself. But you're, we're not fighting, we're boxing and doing it for, to get in shape and all these things and maybe not sparring and stuff like that. So we, we think, you know, we have this kind of grandiose thing that we're or to a little tougher and we can maybe manage a street fight. So we are not prepared and if you haven't been in a street fight, you really don't know what to expect. So you get hit. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> they a go, boxer, a, yeah. No, and listen, no anybody doing boxing, kickboxing, yep. uh taekwondo, spin class, stay be in the best shape you can be yes. and yep. learn something, right? But you know, a boxer's gonna box. How are you gonna box when I've grabbed you by the back of the hair from behind and pulled you down to the ground yep. and pinned your arms? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're exactly. a boxer. You're you cannot now. box now. You better do something else. Right. Or puts so, a gun to your head. How yeah. do you handle that? Or puts a knife to your throat? And a lot of these guys, like boxers, oh, well, they're used to dealing with refs. There's no ref out in the street. Mm, yeah, right. And and your opponent on the street is an unknown. So you've got to. Yeah. You, you don't you, have the stats. You weren't. Yeah, you didn't you get to lined pick, up. Yeah, that's not your. Lane. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. not your friend in class that you get yeah. to play yeah. around with. This is an unknown, and you've got to. wants to do harm. Yeah, yeah, you've got to handle it with the utmost of speed, aggression, and skill. That and that can. is the psychological thing too. When when uh, we say Jennifer and I will say, "Oh, go go ahead and put your hand on my face," mm -hmm. and uh, women, they, you know, we're nurturers. They like. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hello, dear. I was doing that like, too. no, you put your hand on my van. Oh, I don't want to hurt you. I go, yeah. well, we're going to teach you how to palm strike these people. Mm -hmm. Except for that one and, time. Oh, 
<laughs> I know still hurts. Really. Get what happens. Were you there that day? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Oh my no. God. There's one woman. What? She had a wrist brace she on. She had a wrist brace. You know wrist those metal broken. wrist brace? Oh, no. Well, it wasn't broken, but no, maybe it was broken one. once. She had a <laughs> fracture. Or was that right? Hit you. So I said, <laughs> no, here, give me your hand. I said, put it on my face. You know, yeah. not not like this, not like, but like put her on my face. Yeah. She goes all like this, bam! Oh and she had no, that metal, she had the metal, that metal thing. Ah. So she could put it. That's the hand she used. Spice was like, okay, <laughs> okay, I saw stars, <laughs> but I needed to maintain did my she cool. Realize what she did, did or she, yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She felt bad. But you ever seen a cat slide and hit a wall and go, that's cool. <laughs> That's cool. I had to be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, Actually, just, I've done that a few I'm, times. Let me just, that's okay. Brittany need me in the bunny. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ow. That like, hurts. we're just uh, targeting. We're not actually, I don't have, like, a pad there, Brittany, so. Yeah, so just maintain yeah. it. It hurts for women as much as it does men. That women, yeah. yeah, once you kick oh, you, <laughs> you ever fall on a really dangerous a boy right? bike? You ever fall on a boy oh, bike? Wow. You know, come on, yes. ladies. We oh. all, we have problems, too, but. Um, well, that's the thing. There's stuff there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. So, that's um, another show. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> but we'll go to the medical so, aspect. I saw, I saw so the medical so 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 yeah. The yeah. spice yeah. went into the thinking mode. I, I was like, oh, no, oh, no. no. Like, <laughs> we're going to have to bleep it, it, everything out. Exactly. You got <laughs> to get, get your serious uh, radio station next week. Yeah, we really have a Exactly. We really have a show. But, I love um, but I mean, like it's true. When Jennifer and I are teaching, and we do have male senseis and stuff mm -hmm. like that, that will take the brunt, and we tell them if you don't wear a cup, it's on you. But yeah. we try and protect ourselves. If you're kicking, you have to watch because they're like like a baby rattler. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a mature rattler will bite you and not shoot their venom, like shoot their wad completely into you, but. A baby rattler will just dump everything. There's no control. That's why baby mm. rattlers are so dangerous. Yeah. And that's the way it is when you're teaching some civilians, white belts, they have no control. Yeah. So it, 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 it's like <laughs> control. Yes, learning yeah. that. Yeah. Control. We, and then they do get so class. but they do get so excited. You mean like, oh, so if I if I bash him this way, rip his ear off, stick my thumb in his eyes, then I can kick him in the yeah. testicles. <laughs> Well, I, I, I don't mean, think I've ever heard you I've use that. I know, words. but I'm a doctor. <laughs> wow. I can use those words. I know, that was impressive. I, you can I say other balls. stuff on here. I prefer balls. Yeah, let's just try to be. Balls. Let's let's like balls. Let's, balls are, I like balls, I mean, too. the word in. I like saying balls and... Yes. I do. And balls, we're balls, going. <laughs> balls is a good... <laughs> yeah, See, there we we're go. we're trying to not say it. Down into the abyss. Um... But groin, you can say groin. You no. can say, there's a lot of words. We prefer balls. Yeah, balls. Um, it, it makes a better and bigger impact. Yeah, well, even, <laughs> even little children know what it means. But um, I think that, uh, where were we? <laughs> yeah, well, we get us back on track. Get us back on track. We got stuck on the let's, balls. Let's go we'll talk about into, Sunday. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about um, the workshop on Sunday, and then we're also going to talk about, I want to know if we can just kind of go through maybe not go through them, but talk about a couple drills. So close proximity, further away, um, just kind of a few things just so we can give the basics so that when everybody comes to the class on Sunday, they kind of know what to expect or just kind of some basic beginner moves. Uh, too, oh, bad Dan, too, bad, <clears throat> yeah, too bad Dan was filming because we could use him as a... Oh, dummy. we could, um, yeah, we'll show you <laughs> that groin <laughs> well, you, didn't, you didn't bring it, you didn't bring it, you the tripod. Do you have your cup? Do you have your cup? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, um, well, if you wanted a demo of Spice and I can demo Yeah, it, that would be great. If we could just do... overall... Yeah, just a what couple we do. things. Yep, well, we're going to warm up, things. we're going to stretch the class out, warm yep. up a little bit. We're going to go through their strikes, uh, their palm strikes, and teach them how to strike. Their hammers, their elbows, um, some knees, some kicks. Learning the weapons on their body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and making them aware that, that uh, we have a little brochure, improvised weapons. Like, mm -hmm. what is an improvised weapon? What do you have in here that's an improvised weapon? Um, my water bottle. I yes. love that water bottle. It's full, can, so it does more damage. Yeah, but you can also open it up and slam it in their face, squirt it in their face. Oh, that's, hey, that's never good. That's good. That. You know? I like it. There's a lot of stuff in here. Ooh, there's a lot of toys in here. Yeah. Um, so people don't realize, you know, a magazine, roll it up, use that, or a lamp. Um, if you have a belt, mm -hmm. 
working that. If somebody has a knife, take your jacket off, wrap it around your wrist, whatever, the certain things. So we uh -huh. go through a lot of improvised, um, a hat, baseball hat. There's a lot of things that you have that can be improvised with. Baseball hat, that's interesting. I did. I haven't learned that one. I always wear a baseball hat. You ever been hit in the face with, you know, the thing that comes, the plastic thing at the end? Yeah. That puts the together. Snap. The snap? Yeah. Like that. You take it off and you just snap it on someone's face. Don't give it to her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you are. Try it on Jennifer. Yeah, you you know. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I, learned, I should learn how to not ask these questions. Let me hold my water bottle. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, but look, look, just do like that. Okay, so. Snap it. If that hits someone in the face, yeah, it's that's gonna hurt. hurt. Okay. If anything, it's just whoop whoop. Yeah, you know, just shock that, them to take yeah, them out of that. That, uh, that um, fight or flight uh, thing Thanks, takes Dad. over. We'll try it on you later. Well, and he's okay. uh, also <laughs> here. This, that brim. Yeah. If you just whap them, you know, there, there's a lot of weapons that you can improv. And then uh, talk about um, techniques. Oh, okay. choking, choking, wrist grabs, whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, so a after we do our introductions, and, and we do a, a quick introduction because it's always good to know what actually motivated somebody to come to class. Mm -hmm. um, be I, at least I, I find that interesting because you're like, why did you decide to come to take a self-defense class? Because there are some people that have been attacked before. Oh, and they feel like horrible stories. Like mm -hmm. they need to learn some skills. And then a lot of mothers are bringing their young daughters to class, which is really mm -hmm. encouraging, um, especially before they go off to college, because God only knows that the colleges aren't oh, really yeah. doing well, anything rape to is protect up, these girls. Rape is up 68%. They have so much problems in college today that they can't even go to the courts outside. They have to just keep them in. So, oh, and then if it's a football player and he's on a scholarship, you know how that's going to end up. So we go mm. over seven basic techniques. I mean, there's really only so much you can teach in a four-hour or five-hour class. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, Spice, IU, we're all, we're all learning every week, every day, new new stuff or honing our skills. So mm -hmm. it's not like we want to ever claim that come to class and you're going to learn everything you ever need to know about martial arts or self-defense. Yeah. But it's definitely a good immersion and a good beginning. And we really do inundate them with enough to learn most of the basics where distance is concerned, weapons, long, medium, short range, hand-to-hand -hand combat. And then we go over our seven techniques, starting from wrist grabs all the way up to chokes. Bear hugs with your arms free, bear hugs with your arms pinned from the front, from behind, uh, being taken down by the hair, taken down to the grab, uh, taken down to the ground, uh, rape position, and full mount. So going over those seven techniques and working them with, we have people partner up, and then our black belts will also um, help assist, fine tune, people have questions, and and you know, learning to use your body as a weapon is very exhilarating. And then Jennifer's going to do um, you, a, a thing on uh, active shooter. Yeah, just just I some talk about information that well. on that uh, things to think about. Um, mm -hmm. You know, they always say that run, hide, and fight. But she has a lot of information that we just felt was important that we should right. mention that. And especially with what's going on in the world right now, too. And, you know, there's such, a, you know, a bad thing around guns and knives and things like that. I've gone to the shooting range, and <clears throat> I know I've lost a few followers on Instagram and Facebook when I post it. But <clears throat> the thing is, is that the, it's going to happen regardless of what we do. We need more friends with guns. <laughs> I know. You get, who else is there? Yeah. First of all, I'm sorry. Did you just lose more followers? I saw like, 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 yeah, like, a couple thousand there. We see the whole thing down. And I've got no followers. Well, <laughs> truly, the only thing that but you got the yeah, other ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the ones that matter the most. Right. <laughs> the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. You mm. know, it's it's, and there's absolutely no gun law. That would stop any of these mass shootings. It yeah. truly is. I mean, really, well, all the gun laws were in for. Well, we have we we. You got to follow the gun we laws. We have laws. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the good people that follow the laws really are the issue. Well, Jennifer and I have guns. So we're not going out trying to shoot people. Yeah, and you know, good it's people about don't protection. Well, I mean, unless they're shooting us. Well, yes. we don't just go out because we had a bad day. 
Yeah, it's self-protection <laughs> and protecting yourself. We've only got a couple minutes left. I just heard um, time flew by. So let's talk about uh, how we can sign up for I Fight for My Life and uh, and get everybody down there on Sunday for two we'll days left. Yes. Two, two, two to days. sign up. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. Well, our website is ifightformylife.com. Mm -hmm. And you can go there. You'll see the flyer. And you click on there, and it will have a link to click. It will take you right to the Pierce College catalog. Okay. And for five hours, it's sixty-five dollars. Wow. Everybody gets a free kitty cat key guard, which oh, yeah. goes on the keychain. And okay. then they get a book booklet of with pictures <laughs> and instructions on the seven techniques. So uh, there it is. So here it is, the kitty, and I kitty, love this. Kitty, kitty. I it yeah. Should be on your keys. No, I have the other one on my keys. Oh, no, I'm not lying. I swear it's in there. <laughs> okay, I'll I swear. It. Oh, I swear. <laughs> there it is. There the black it one. is. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's just okay. a See, She's one. discriminating right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't yeah. take it yeah. personal, guys. <laughs> um, but awesome. you know, your keys should always be in your hands. Yeah, always. When you leave a safe place and go to your car. Um, you don't want to be reaching in looking for your keys. The predator's already checked you out. He's done his homework. So this way your keys can hang from this. You can grab, open the car door, pick up your groceries, and then if somebody grabs you, then you've got, you know, yeah. it's... It, and it's sharp. I mean, this is amazing. But this is an item of opportunity to help you make space in the event of an attack. Exactly, exactly. There. I love it. Thank you so much, Jennifer Silverstein, Spice Williams Crosby, for being here today. I admire and respect these two women. I really want you guys to come out to this class. If not this one, I mean, you guys have to come down and see what they can do. And you're learning so, so much. So sign up for the class, and I fight for my life. Sign up for the website as well. And uh, we'll see you guys down there. Thank you so much for being here. And we'll find you also on social media under your full names. Yes, Spice Williams Crosby. And we do have a... a I fight for my life page, page. Well. and yeah. then you're Jennifer Kalix Silverstein. Yep, and also on Instagram as well. Uh, same names. Uh, Spice WC for me, and I know yours is a little different. Tied and torn. That's, uh, well, and that'll be a story for behind show well. that. There's <laughs> got to be a story behind that one. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Uh, stay blessed and stay healthy, and we'll see you next week. Bye bye. Bye guys. I think we don't need to do techniques.